Comedy is a genre of film in which the main emphasis is on humor. These films are designed to make the audience laugh through amusement and most often work by exaggerating characteristics for humorous effect. Films in this style traditionally have a happy ending, black comedy being an exception. One of the oldest genres in film, some of the very first silent movies were comedies, as slapstick comedy often relies on visual depictions, without requiring sound. When sound films became more prevalent during the 1920s, comedy films took another swing, as laughter could result from burlesque situations but also dialogue. Comedy, compared with other film genres, puts much more focus on individual stars, with many former stand-up comics transitioning to the film industry due to their popularity. While many comic films are light-hearted stories with no intent other than to amuse, others contain political or social commentary such as The King of Comedy and Wag the Dog. Topic. By country Topic Subgenres A comedy of manners satirizes the manners and affectations of a social class, often represented by stock characters. Also, satirical comedy drama and the plot is often concerned with an illicit love affair or some other scandal. However, the plot is generally less important for its comedic effect than its witty dialogue. This form of comedy has a long ancestry, dating back at least as far as Much Ado About Nothing created by William Shakespeare. Slapstick films involve exaggerated, boisterous action to create impossible and humorous situations. Because it relies predominantly on visual depictions of events, it does not require sound. Accordingly, the subgenre was ideal for silent movies and was prevalent during that era. Popular silent stars of the slapstick genre include Buster Keaton, Charlie Chaplin, Roscoe Arbuckle, and Harold Lloyd. Some of these stars, as well as acts such as Laurel and Hardy and the Three Stooges, also found success incorporating slapstick comedy into sound films. In a fish-out-of-water comedy, the main character or character finds himself in an unusual environment, which drives most of the humor. Situations can be neo-noir crime comedy, satirical comedy drama and black comedy as sometimes as fantasy comedy behind swapping gender roles, as in Tootsie 1982, an age-changing role, as in Big 1988, a freedom-loving individual fitting into a structured environment, as in Police Academy 1984, a rural backwoodsman in the big city, as in Crocodile Dundee, and so forth. The Coen brothers are known for using this technique in all of their films, though not always to comic effect. Some films including people fitting the fish out of water bill include The Big Lebowski 1998 and A Serious Man 2009. A parody or spoof film is a comedy that satirizes other film genres or classic films. Such films mockumentary, employ sarcasm, stereotyping, mockery of scenes from other films, and the obviousness of meaning in a character's actions. Examples of this form include Mud and Sand 1922, Blazing Saddles 1974, Airplane 1980, Young Frankenstein 1974, and Scary Movie 2000. The anarchic comedy film, as its name suggests, is a random or stream-of-consciousness type of humor which often lampoons a form of authority. The genre dates from the silent era, and the most famous examples of this type of film would be those produced by Monty Python. Others include Duck Soup 1933, and National Lampoon's Animal House 1978. The black comedy film deals with normally taboo subjects, including death, murder, crime, suicide, and war, in a satirical manner. 
Examples include arsenic and old lace, 1944; Monsieur Verdoux, 1947; Kind Hearts and Coronets, 1949; The Lady Killers, 1955; Doctor Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb, 1964; The Loved One, 1965; Mash, 1970; The King of Comedy, 1983; Monty Python's The Meaning of Life, 1983; Brazil. 1985, After Hours, 1985, The War of the Roses, 1989, Heather's, 1989, Your Friends and Neighbors, 1998, Keeping Mum, 2005, Burn After Reading, 2008, The Wolf of Wall Street, 2013, and Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, 2017. Gross out films are a relatively recent development and rely heavily on vulgar, sexual or toilet humor. Examples include Porky's 1982, Dumb and Dumber 1994, There's Something About Mary 1998, and American Pie 1999. It was not uncommon for the early romantic comedy film to also be a screwball comedy film. This form of comedy film was particularly popular during the 1930s and 1940s. There is no consensus definition of this film style, and it is often loosely applied to slapstick or romantic comedy films. Typically it can include a romantic element, an interplay between people of different economic strata, quick and witty repartee, some form of role reversal, and a happy ending. Some examples of the screwball comedy are, It Happened One Night 1934, Bringing Up Baby 1938, Philadelphia Story 1940, His Girl Friday 1940, and more recently, What's Up, Doc? 1972. <laughs> Topic. Hybrid subgenres Topic. Action comedy Films in this sub-genre blend comic antics and action where the film stars combine with and one-liners with a thrilling plot and daring stunts. The genre became a specific draw in North America in the 80s when comedians such as Eddie Murphy started taking more action-oriented roles such as in 48 Hours and Beverly Hills Cop. These types of films are often buddy films, with mismatched partners such as in Midnight Run, Rush Hour, 21 Jump Street, Bad Boys, Starsky and Hutch, and Hot Fuzz. Slapstick martial arts films became a mainstay of Hong Kong action cinema through the work of Jackie Chan among others. It may also focus on superheroes such as The Incredibles, Hancock, Kick-Ass, and Mystery Men. It may focus on Kung Fu such as Kung Fu Panda. Topic. Comedy horror Comedy horror is a type of film in which the usual dark themes and scare tactics attributed to horror films are treated with a humorous approach. These films either use goofy horror clichés, such as in Scream, Young Frankenstein, Little Shop of Horrors, Haunted Mansion, and Scary Movie where campy styles are favored. Some are much more subtle and don't parody horror, such as An American Werewolf in London. Another style of comedy horror can also rely on over-the-top violence and gore such as in The Evil Dead 1981, Reanimator 1985, Braindead 1992, and Club Dread 2004. Such films are sometimes known as splatstick, a portmanteau of the words splatter and slapstick. It would be reasonable to put Ghostbusters in this category. Topic. Comedy thriller A genre that combines elements of comedy and thrillers, a combination of humor and suspense or action. Films such as Silver Streak, Charade, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, In Bruges, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Gross Point Blank, The Thin Man, The Big Fix, and The Lady Vanishes.
Topic: <laughs> Fantasy Comedy. Fantasy comedy films are types of films that uses magic, supernatural and or mythological figures for comic purposes. Most fantasy comedy includes an element of parody, or satire, turning many of the fantasy conventions on their head such as the hero becoming a cowardly fool, the princess being a klutz. Examples of these films include The Chipmunk Adventure, Big, Being John Malkovich, Ernest Saves Christmas, Ernest Scared Stupid, Night at the Museum, Groundhog Day, Click, and Shrek. Topic. Comic science fiction Sci-fi comedy films, like most hybrid genre of comedy, use the elements of science fiction films to over-the-top extremes and exaggerated science fiction stereotypical characters. Examples of these types of films include Back to the Future, Spaceballs, Ghostbusters, Evolution, Innerspace, Galaxy Quest, Mars Attacks, Men in Black, and The World's End. Topic: Military Comedy. Military comedy films involve comic situations in a military setting. When a film is primarily about the experience of civilians called into military service and still feeling out of place, it may be referred to as a service comedy. Because war is such a grim subject, many military comedies are set in peacetime or during wartime but away from battle zones. Military and service comedies include Topic. Romantic comedy The romantic comedy film subgenre typically involves the development of a relationship between a man and a woman. The stereotyped plot line follows the boy gets girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl back again sequence. Naturally, there are innumerable variants to this plot, and much of the generally light-hearted comedy lies in the social interactions and sexual tensions between the pair. Examples of this style of film include It 1927, City Lights 1931, It's a Wonderful World 1939, The Shop Around the Corner 1940, Sabrina 1954, Annie Hall 1977, When Harry Met Sally 1989, Pretty Woman 1990, Four Weddings and a Funeral 1994, and There's Something About Mary 1998. Topic. See also AFI's 100 Years 100 Laughs 1924 to 1998 list made in 2000